guys what's happening. So, this just came in from Amazon. It's actually the first time I've ever seen this. But it's actually a BMG extruder. But it's clear. Yeah, take a look at that. So it's a BMG type extruder, but it's actually clear. So yeah, this would hopefully uh, make it a little bit easier to troubleshoot issues, like extrusion issues. You can see the uh, how much retraction you have going. If you have, if you have a, a clog, sometimes if you have a clog, it will actually uh, eat through the actual filament. But uh, the only issue that I do see is that, I mean, this could be a positive, but it could also be a negative, is a steel gear. And then you also have a steel uh, gear for the uh, stepper motor. But the issue with that is you're going to have to use a lubricant. Some sort of like either a light grease or something like that to prevent wear. So, um, like I said, it can be a positive or a negative. So, either or. So, I'll take this off real fast and I'll show you what I'm putting it on. So this is the print I'm putting it on here. So this is actually my, uh, I designed this extruder a couple of uh, months ago. And it's a uh, BMG type extruder with the E3D hot end. But, um, yeah, obviously BL touch and... The heater, the cooling part cooling fan is actually it comes from the back. It's designed for linear rails, but I designed this for ease of removal. So I can just take these three screws off and just pull the whole thing and pull forward. So I'm gonna replace that extruder right there with the uh, clear one. And uh, I'm actually having some issues with jams, but I'm not sure what the, it might just be the filament. I don't know, it's weird. So uh, like it'll just randomly clog, but uh, Right, I'll make another video about that maybe, or how to how to resolve that issue. But all right, so I'm gonna get the three screws off, pull it forward. Look at another side angle of my extruder. It's just cooled the the uh, hot end here is cooled by the small fan in here. It has a cover on it to prevent debris to get in it. But yeah, if you uh, have like a, some sort of Ender three or one of those printers, you gotta you gotta convert to a, a linear rail. Uh, way better than the uh, the the pulleys come with the uh, Enders. All right, so well, that hot end's heating up, so I can pull the filament out. And I want to take a closer look at this. So it actually comes with a little plug right there, and that's to if you just wanted to use this like a, as like a Bowden setup, you could just keep it on there like that. But I actually prefer a direct drive, so my hot end just goes right into the actual here the slot. And I can set it with one hand, but this pulls off. All right, so here is the little piece of aluminum. So if you notice, this is the same shape as like an E3D uh, the uh, cooling head. But, alright, so you got a metal gear. Don't know if I like that or not. Guess we'll find out in the long run if this, I get a lot of wear. But I'm going to put a really light grease on here. And the one thing is you don't want to get any sort of oil or grease on your filament. So, it's got to be careful with that. Um, that's cool, came a little anodized little adjuster knob. So, alright. Yeah, i got to be careful what I say in this video because the company that... The company with the name starts with a B gave me a community guideline strike for my last extruder video. So, um, yeah, they got a little crazy on me. Alright, so um, when I designed this thing, like I said, I wanted to ease use. Just undo three screws, and the whole thing pulls forward. So, I mean, it's pretty common to get clogs and jams, but I hate the extruder systems that you have to take the whole thing apart, and it's, it's just a hassle to get apart. Um, so I wanted something simple, because boom, take it out to fix a problem and not have to deal with the total headache. All right, so when I was talking about metal gear versus plastic gear, so I'm talking about the reduction gear right here. <clears throat> so when you have a plastic gear and a steel gear, you don't need to have lube. Like the gear itself is actually the lube, the plastic. But when you have actually metal on metal, then you actually have to lube it. So learned that from my uh, RC car days. Okay, so get this thing on there and uh, get it going. It should be pretty you know, straight swap. I mean, it's the identical thing, so. One thing I did notice is that this actually other one has a an extra support. Um, the issue with that is, is usually you want this little tip, the Bowden tube, to kind of come up into it. Like if you look at this one, it might be easier to see. But you normally want the Bowden tip to go up into it. But you're not going to be able to do that with that thing there. You're not going to be able to get that tip in there if that's like that. So that's sort of a... I mean, they probably would have been better off not having that. I mean, it's nice having the extra support, but you want to get that tip up in there, so you're not going to be able to do that. So, I'm going to clip back together, slide up like that. Make sure this is aligned right here. Get this 
screws back on there. I actually want to use my screws. I need longer screws to get through to the back of the uh, stepper here. Forgot to mention, check that set screw right there on the uh, gears because I've actually had that come loose before and it creates all kinds of havoc. Alright, so I'm going to use a little bit of this Deoxit um, uh, L260 degrease. It's pretty awesome. It's really thin. Um, it's actually pretty expensive, but it's the same company that makes like the Deoxit, the uh, expensive Deoxit Deoxizer. I'm just going to apply a little amount right there. Just a little bit. And then let it work itself in. Yeah, because you don't want it to overlap and get into your actual uh, filament. It's just going to mess up your print if you get oil in your filament. Yeah, too bad I'm using black filament. This would actually, you can be able to see it pretty good. See as it goes through. I'll fish it down there like that into it right there. If I had red filament or color filament, it would actually be awesome. But right now I'm just doing black because i got to finish my black print. But um, I'll get a print and we'll see the uh, gears moving. You can see the retraction. Alright, we well, got to go. Alright, so there should be a little spring tension, but it shouldn't be too crazy with it because if you have to put down so much tension, then you have something going on with your, some kind of clogging issue. So just a little bit of tension. Alright, there it is printing out. I mean, I guess it's a little gimmicky, but... I mean, you can always just touch your film here and know if it's actually feeding or not. Feel it pulling through. But yeah, if it's a like red or blue, you'd really be able to see the filament. Alright, so if you want my extruder system, uh, it's going to be on my thing where page down below. But, um, or if you want this thing, I'll put a link down where I got on Amazon. It was like 14 bucks, pretty cheap. Alright, cool.